If you like the sound of what I just played, then you'll want to stay tuned for a product review of a new etude book out for saxophones. Hi, I'm Donna from DonnaSchwartzMusic.com, the site to bring your playing up to the next level. And in this video, I want to give a product review for a new etude book called Planet Sax. It's 26 Etudes for the Maturing Saxophone Student, and it's by Sam Tobias. Now, um, Sam had reached out to me, and this book is brand new. He wanted to get my opinion on it, and uh, he asked for a review. So when I got it in the mail, I opened it up. It really is a beautiful-looking book. I mean, <laughs> you compare this to the Rubank, there's no comparison. Okay, it's a beautiful-looking book. It's very engaging-looking. Um, if you have you know, um, students, younger students in school, this is definitely a lot more interesting looking than many of the method books out there. But that wasn't really what struck me. As I was looking through the book, I was noticing that there's a lot of great stuff in here. This book is predominantly for maturing students. Now, I'm going to say um, intermediate level players. You should have a good command of the written range of the horn from low B flat to at least the high E and the high F. Okay, you don't really need the high F sharp from what I've seen. Um, this book addresses problems, all right? It was created to be very musical, and it really is. There's some beautiful etudes in here, but it's also, it was also written to address problems, okay, to solve problems. Problems with reading certain types of meters, problems with reading certain types of rhythms, problems with perhaps large jumps and keeping the, uh, the tone equal and the same. So, and also, I should say, it's also in all 12 keys, okay? So this is, this is going to be a good challenge for an e intermediate level player. Now, the way this book looks, you would think that it's for, you know, a student in, um, like, let's say, maybe middle school or high school and, su and such. Yeah, I would agree, but don't let that throw you off. Okay, please don't, because as I was looking through this, there's a lot of good material in here, all right? And what I really like, as I go right to, like, the very beginning, um, even in, like, the preface and the acknowledgments, he talks about how each chapter d deals with a certain, or a couple of concepts. So chapter one's about syncopation, okay? Chapter two is a little bit more slightly syncopated. Um, chapters three... Uh, chapters 3, 4, and 5 are dealing with different meters, okay? And uh, 5 is, is swing. Chapter 6 is syncopation, but there's also some 16th note forms uh, and rhythms in there as well. Now, what he does here, he talks about how to practice a piece of music and gives you really, really great advice, okay? And then, with each chapter, there's an expl exploration, okay? And it gets into... Uh, chapter 1, for example, is about syncopation. And he explains it, okay, and he gives you some examples uh, at the bottom of the page over here in terms of explaining it. And then he gives you some, um, I guess, notes about each piece. So I'm just going to show you, I'm going to show you bits and pieces from each of the, or most of the chapters from this book. And I'm going to start with uh, chapter 1. This one is syncopation. This is a really beautiful etude here. Now, the one um, criticism I do have, and I spoke with Sam about this, there's no written metronome markings on here or even a metronome range. Um, for this first piece, Amelia Earhart, it's freely soaring is written there. Is written there. And he's very funny. He's punny. <laughs> a lot of puns going on there. I like that personally. Um, but as a teacher teaching a student, I would want to get an idea. Like my first question looking at this was, all right, well, what does that mean in terms of tempo? And um, what he did do on YouTube, there is, uh, he recorded every single etude from the book on a different saxophone, even bass sax. That's pretty cool. Um, so you can use those recordings as a guide 
to, uh, for the final tempo that you want to aspire to to play this. Let me just do a little bit of the uh, Amelia Earhart one. <laughs> pretty much stay similar to what I just did. But what's great about this uh, particular etude, there's big jumps in there. There's big interval jumps. So those folks that are used to reading notes that are close to each other, like in a scale, this is going to be a great challenge for you. Okay, so again, issue, reading large interval jumps. There it is. Working through this etude will help to solve that problem. Um, and let's see. So that's chapter one. That's one of the etudes from there. There's a bunch of them. Uh, you know, a bunch of other etudes, etc. Chapter two is a syncopation elaboration. Okay, and again, he gives notes about um, each of the pieces in here. So in chapter two, what I picked was this one. This one is actually really cool. It's called Flying Fish. <laughs> Flying Fish. <laughs> that little theme there. Do -da, do -da, da -da. Sounds like a lot of other little familiar types of themes. Do -ba -do -ba -da -da -ba 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 -da, right? Or even some of the TV themes in the past. That one's really cool. Flying fish. Then when we get to, uh, let's see, chapter three is about three quarter time. All right. A lot of people are so used to playing in a duple meter um, you know, 2 4, 4 4 time. They're not used to playing in triple meters like 3 4 time. And in particular, he talks about polyrhythms in here as well. So um, there's a bunch of etudes that deal with 3 3 4 time. Let me just play a snippet of one. This one's called Indonesia. <laughs> Now, when we get to chapter four, it's compound meter. So we're talking about three, eight, six, eight, nine, eight, twelve, eight. What I played in the very beginning, I'm not going to play it again because I played it already, but was this one, Petra. Okay, and this one was really cool. It was a nine, eight time. Now, what this this solves when you work on it, first of all, reading a nine, eight time, um, but also you're dealing with um, dotted half notes tied across the bar line, so it kind of makes it feel like it's not quite 9-8 time, but something else. But you're also dealing with large interval jumps, jumps of fifths, jumps of fourths. Okay, there's a section where it's um, quartal patterns, Q-U-A-R-T-A-L, quartal, fours, four, fourth patterns in here. That's a great, great etude. I really like that one a lot. Uh, chapter five is swing. Okay, so uh, different examples in here of swing stuff. Um, let's see. Let's do, let's do this one. I actually have not looked at this, so let's check it out. Okay, that one's called Umbrella Birds. <laughs> interesting names, I gotta say. Definitely interest, interesting names. Chapter six deals with 16th note syncopations. Um, and he gives a couple of, again, there's you know, detailed explanations, glare, detailed explanations right there. Uh, what did I pick? Oh, okay. I picked this one, Vincent Van Gogh. Why? Because I'm playing a Van Gogh ligature from Rovner. All right, everybody always asks about it. It's the Rovner Van Gogh. Awesome ligature. Okay, so let me just do a little bit of this one. <laughs> 
really beautiful. You know, I really like that one a lot. And then we get to, um, there's an, there's an actual uh, duet at the back of the book, Zoology. So two like instruments can play along with it. It's bright swing. It's really, really cool. So overall, I think this is a really great contribution by Sam to the saxophone etude literature that I think you should definitely consider. Um, for as an intermediate player, as a teacher. Now here's what I'm going to also recommend. If you're a teacher in a public school or a private school, if you have saxophone players that are really eager to learn, if they have a private teacher, definitely recommend this book. And you can get it on Amazon. <clears throat> you can get it on Amazon, excuse me, I have the link below. Um, uh, or if you've got students that you know, are, are aspiring players but they don't quite have a private teacher, recommend the book anyway. They could use the uh, YouTube recordings as a reference point, and it would be a really good challenge for them. And it's, it's really very nice music. Okay, so I definitely recommend this book, Planet Sax, 26 Etudes for the Maturing Student by Sam Tobias. Check it out at the link below.